What's up guys? Here with a multi-tool review today. It is the Leatherman Style CS. It's a smaller version of the Leatherman Skeletal. And it's based off that design, as you can see. Uh, its materials are a small FRN insert. Uh, and the rest is uh, 420HC stainless steel. Or at least on the website, they say that the knife is, uh, but I believe the rest of it is as well. Although the uh, darker gray parts could be aluminum. Not sure. They don't really say on the website. Or uh, any of the seller's websites either. Uh, tried to look it up for you guys, but I couldn't tell. But as far as I know, all the tools are at least 420HC. Um, so, I'm going to say the reason why I bought this is mainly because I wanted a full-size pair of scissors um, just for ease of use uh, instead of having to pull out my super tinker and use those scissors while they're great scissors and I really love them uh, they're just a little bit too small and uh, this was just a bit of a larger option for me um, so getting into it it's going to retail for about 20 to $25, uh, depending on where you get it. Uh, I got this on sale at Dick's Sporting Goods. I believe I paid $22 after tax. Its closed length is 2.9 inches, or 7.5 centimeters. And it weighs 1.4 ounces, so it's really light. And we'll get into the tools now. So... First thing is this carabiner, uh, which doubles as a bottle opener. Sorry, my dog's barking out there and trying to make this. <laughs> but, so, you can see it's a bottle opener, which fits very nicely in the hand. Very nice. It also has a small lanyard hole up here. Um, one thing I did notice about this is this is a little loose this way. Uh, I don't know with with time that'll be a problem, uh, but it is one thing I've noticed, uh, just so you guys know. So, we'll get into this blade right here, uh, which is all right for a blade. It's, again, as I said, it's 420HC. It's 1.6 inches. Uh, it's got a kind of a satin finish. Um, but, it didn't come that sharp. I had to sharpen it a bit. And, uh, fuck. Sorry, <laughs> I'm trying to think of what I'm saying. Um, it's only... cut on that side I, I can't think of the term right now and it's gonna bug me but there's no cutting edge on that side if that makes sense it's just on this side uh, which is kind of not really functional I guess um, I don't know why they did it I mean it's not like you're accidentally gonna hit this side of the blade at all um, you can't one-handed open it and I kind of would like the nail neck to be a bit further up um, maybe more like right here but it works all right um, but it is a super useful little blade there is a bit of blade play though um, obviously not up and down it's a slip joint all the tools are slip joint non locking uh, but there is a bit of side-to-side -side blade play. Uh, none if you go like that, though, if you try and pull on it. But next tool right here is a very nice locking up pair of tweezers. Super useful. Next tool, you've got a nail file. Sorry. 
Got a nail file, which has a small nail nick on the other side, which I don't really get. I don't get what that's for. It doesn't help at all. It's kind of useless. The other thing it has is this small flathead Phillips. Personally, this is my least favorite part of this. Um, it's too long to be a screwdriver. Um, I've tried to use it, and I've actually kind of almost ended up twisting the tool, so I had to stop and pull out a different tool and use that. Um, so, that's that. Other than that, the nail file part works as a nail file would. But, opening up my favorite part. Sorry, wipe off some of that. Is an excellent pair of full size scissors. Fits in your hand very well. Very comfortable. Either way you hold it. Uh, personally, I like holding it with that bottle cap down and that shorter part going into your palm. Very, very comfortable. Uh, super nice. They're not super sharp, but enough to get the job done. They are spring loaded. Um, but yeah, that's awesome. Awesome little pair of scissors. So, overall, my impressions of this are pretty decent. It's a all right light duty multi tool um, for your keychain. There's a bit I would change about it. Um, like I said, that nail file is much too long. I'd probably have it stop like maybe right there, uh, just because it, when you put so much torque on it, it just it starts to bend. Um, and I would change the blade style so it was sharp on both sides. It's really going to bug me that I can't remember what that term is right now. But um, Lastly, the other thing I have noticed is that it can collect quite a lot of dust. Uh, so it's definitely something you want to um, clean regularly if you don't have it on your keychain. Yeah. Oh, and one other thing I would change is I really don't like the placement of the Leatherman style CS part. Um, I just feel like it'd go better on the back, maybe, where there's more room. I feel like it's super small right there. Uh, either that, or I would like them to keep it there. But change, if it makes sense to you, um, these two grips right here, or not grips, but little inserts, um, they have enough Leatherman branding on it. I mean, you've got Leatherman right there, you've got it right there, you've got it in here on the scissors, both sides, I think. Yeah, both sides. Um... I would like them to put a bit more of a, what I would say be functionality in it. Put knife right there and nail file on that side maybe. Um, it's something that I had in what this replaced was the Gerber shortcut, which I hated with a passion. This is miles above that by far. Um, but I think that adding that would uh, serve a bit more functionality. So yeah. So, that is my full review of the Leatherman Style CS multi-tool.